Hello beautiful plant people, Botanical Brother here. This is a long overdue update of the colia seeds that I planted in my first video. At the time of this recording, these plants are 116 days old. I want to show you what they look like, and I also want to show you some things that I wish I would have done differently that could have given me better results. As you can see here, each plant kind of has its own personality. This was a rainbow mix of seeds, so the colors and everything were completely random. My favorite out of the bunch might be this all green one. Even though it's only a few months old, the leaves are almost the size of my hand. In my first video, I was unsure of the germination rate of the seeds, so I put way too many of them in a small container. A seed starting tray like this would have been way better. It allows for adequate spacing between your plant babies, and then when it's time to take them out of the tray, you're less likely to damage them. One thing I wish I would have done better with this batch is to start pinching earlier. You see how long the stem is and then finally it splits into a V right here? That's totally in my control. Pinching your plant will make it grow bushier, but it also makes the stalk a little bit stronger so it can hold its own weight better. And that will decrease the chances of it toppling over once it gets big. This is what your coleus plant might look like a week or so after you pinch it. Notice the pinch stem in the middle and then the two growths on either side of that. There are different places you can pinch your coleus. One of them is at the top. This is called topping. You can just pinch off the very top two leaves and be gentle so that you don't snap the stem, but you go and you pinch just like so and take it off. Now you're left with this little V shape. Now, I do recommend using scissors or shears if you're gonna do this, but another method you could use is just to go a little bit further down the stem and you can cut right here. Now notice it's still right above two leaves, this one and this one, and then you cut right there and it's still gonna encourage the same type of growth in that V shape like you saw earlier. The last thing I want to discuss briefly is how to propagate a coleus. Now it's quite simple. Everywhere you see a leaf, there's a node on the stem. Right below the node is the perfect place to cut for a propagation. If I cut at an angle right below this node, I would just remove these two leaves, this one and this one. And then I would make sure that this little node here stayed submerged in the water or stayed in the dirt, depending on the method of propagation. You can root these guys directly in a pot, in a potting mix, um, but I like to see the roots, so I like to root them in water just so I know about their progress. But I have successfully rooted them in water and in potting mix. If you guys have any questions about coleus or if you have any suggestions for other videos I should make, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe if you love this content and stay beautiful.